Hi, it's a new year, um, and like I said in last year's couple videos, um, we got a lot of stuff planned. And so it's early January. I don't know exactly when in January it is, depending on when you're watching, but we got another burger review. Um, like I said in the Shake Shack burger review, Killer Burger's coming up, and that's that's where we are. Here's this bad boy. Here's my history with Killer Burger. I had no idea Killer Burger existed when we first opened Bowen Vine. Um, maybe a little bit. I have heard of it, but I haven't tried it. The first time I tried it was um, at the Moda Center. We went to a hockey game and they have a, a kiosk concessions stand there at the Moda Center. And so that was the first time I had it. It was late in the day. They didn't have that much uh, of a menu left, and so I think I got their famous uh, peanut butter burger, which was the like one of the last things they had. They were sold out of like everything else. Um, and I'm not a fan of peanut butter on a burger, so I wasn't all that impressed. Now, that's not to say that it was bad. It's just my preferences. I don't like peanut butter on a burger. It just doesn't make sense to me. I've had it before, I've tried it. I don't know. It's not my thing. I know a lot of people really love it. Not really for me. Um, fast forward a little bit. The next time I try Killer Burger is in Eugene. We were building our Eugene location of Bowen Vine. And so one of the fun things about when you build a new store, you're in a new city, you get to try a bunch of new places. And so we, there was a Killer Burger, a little bit of a walk. So we walked down, tried it. A lot better. Um, they have pretty good pricing, uh, pretty good uh, different variety of burgers, and so I had a much better experience there in Eugene. Um, now, we have a new Killer Burger here in Salem um, at this new shopping center area with the Costco and the Chick-fil-A. It's a really cool place. I actually end up here a lot because uh, I go to the Starbucks, I go to the Crumble Cookie, and I go to this Chick-fil-A all the time. I've been to this one a couple times. The inside looks nice, place is clean, it's a great, great little spot. So far though, I have not been impressed with the quality of food that I've gotten from this Killer Burger, but let's see if that changes today. Let's get into the food. Let's see what we got here. We got nice boxes, everything's labeled, that's nice. Oh, this came with fries, okay. So, I got the Tim Man. Tim, Tim Man, I don't know how you say it, but. Oh, and then I just got a baby, a little baby burger, which is their classic or, or basic or something. Um, got some sauces. I got their house sauce and some ranch. Ranch. Gonna start with some fries. It's a frozen product, but it looks looks like it's pretty good. Their house sauce. Super mustard heavy. A little relish in there. Pretty good. The fries are good. Um, they're still kind of crispy, even though they've been in a box, which is uh, usually a miracle, because usually they get soggy, but uh, this is clearly a, a frozen product, but that's okay, because it's a good product. Salted nicely. Oh, shit. All right, I lost the lid to that. It is uh, deep in the cavern of the seat. So, I guess I have to eat all that sauce. Uh, now let's try their rum lunch. That's okay. I have no other comments on their ranch besides it's okay. That one we're gonna lit up. I love eating in the car. So this is the purest and I got it in, I don't know, bite size shape. It's uh, pretty small, it looks like a little slider. Um, this only has ketchup, mayonnaise, bacon, and cheddar or American cheese, I don't really know. Uh, I got the smaller version because I am <laughs> on a diet. It is January, <laughs> the diet's not over yet. All right, 
There it is. I don't know if you can got a good shot of it. Hopefully you can see it, but we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. It tastes really greasy. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, the bun is nice and soft. The bacon is crispy. I haven't had just like a simple burger like this from them. Um, I've always gone with like lots of toppings, but it's okay. It's really good. It's flavorful. I don't know what this is seasoned with, but it's it's actually got pretty good flavor there. Can't eat the whole thing. I'm on a diet. Speaking of diets, they don't really have a lot of drinks, so I brought this Diet Coke from home. And by home, I mean my office. Since being on a diet, I drink a lot of diet drinks, um, because it's in the name. It's got to be doing something, right? Moving on. This is the Tim Tim Man Tim Man Tim Tim Man. I'm not 100% sure um, what it's called. This also, I don't know if this came with fries or I selected fries. I ordered online because um, I didn't want to go in person. I'm incognito here. So. Here's this bad boy. Um, it's supposed to have like a blue cheese fondue, bacon, pickles. Uh, I'm sure it has something else, but I did not read the description. Uh, their bun is a, this is a uh, cornmeal, cornmeal bun. I don't know, I don't know why. I'm not usually a huge fan of like the cornmeal coating on buns or pizzas or that kind of thing. Let's, um, one thing I like about them is they do the long pickles that way you get a nice bite of pickle in like every bite and i'm a pickle guy i like a good pickle all right let's uh give give this guy a shot that's pretty good i am a a blue cheese guy i love blue cheese blue cheese dressing blue cheese crumbles um i guess those are probably it but if it's got blue cheese I'm gonna get it. Big, big blue cheese guy. Um, so first thoughts. This is okay. It's 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 where I expected. Got a big old chunk of blue cheese flavor stuck in my gums. That's pretty good. Um, as far as quality. This is honestly probably one of the best uh, quality killer burgers that I've had. This is, I'm actually really impressed. Um, they do a third pound patty, which is awesome. That's a nice big patty. That's what we do in Bow and Vine. Um, the flavors here, are, I mean, they're coming together pretty nicely. I almost feel like pickle was a mistake with the blue cheese, but we'll see over time what what that does as far as a flavor. I'm impressed. This is better than I um, remembered the last time I was here. That's pretty good, it's got, looks like it has onion on it too. I'm a big onion guy too, so it makes sense. Like I said, I can't eat all of it. I am on a diet. As soon as I turn the camera off, I'm gonna eat the rest. Just, want, just don't want you to watch me eat it. So my overall review and score of Killer Burger Love the concept. It's a great concept. Um, I love the options of burgers. Um, the things I got today, the purest, was good. I mean, it was exactly what you would expect ketchup, mayonnaise, and bacon and cheddar cheese to be. Um, patty was seasoned really nicely, cooked well. Uh, I think they do a smash burger. Um, at least it's a flat grill style burger because it had a nice little crisp, great seasoning. Um, that was a, the purest was good. The fries, they're okay. They could, um, I don't know what more they could do, but they just seem a little flavorless. Um, they have a, an okay texture. I don't know if it's that they need more salt. Could be that they need more salt, um, but I don't know. Uh, the dipping sauces, I have, I'm not really impressed with any of their dipping sauces. I've, I've worked my way through the menu there, um, and there's not much that I, I really find all that desirable. Um, but the burger that I got, the T T Man to May, I don't know how to read, and this one is a tough one. T E E M A H. 
but on the box it looks like an M. I don't know. The Tim May. That has to be it, right? The Tim May burger um, with the blue cheese fondue, the pickles, the bacon um, is good. I, I really like how everything came together, actually. Um, and if I were to come back, that's probably going to be my go-to burger here from now on. Um, price was not terrible. 30 bucks for a burger with fries, fries, and a burger, and two dipping sauces. It's not terrible uh, for the, the quality and the quantity of fries. I think that's pretty fair. Um, my overall score um, of, this, of this burger chain, Killer Burger, um, I think in my head I've been saying it over and over again, but I haven't said it out loud yet. So I think it's a 7.6. It's a pretty great score. Um, according to my records in my head, that averages out right in the middle of the, the deck probably. Um, have you been to Burger Have you been to Burger Killer Burger? Have you eaten the burgers here at Killer? Are you a Killer Burger? Tell me in the comments. Comment. Um, have you been to Killer Burger and what's your favorite burger? Otherwise, uh, that's your that's your Burger Boy score of uh, Killer Burger. Please um, continue to watch videos. I'll uh, hopefully be bringing you more burger content here in the near future. Until then, goodbye from your Burger Boy, Burger Boy. See you later.